Okay, so now in this next video series, I'm going to take you through the entire process of setting up an OpenX campaign if you are taking advertising revenue. So for example, let's say that this was your blog and you were charging Amazon.com instead of it being an affiliate link, you were charging Amazon.com or whoever site this could be possibly. Um, you could even have a spot for a few more of these. Say you're charging them $50 a month for this spot and you can set up the terms like you could set that up as fifty dollars per uh, one thousand impressions you could charge fifty dollars for ten thousand impressions you could charge fifty dollars for a hundred clicks it would all be totally up to you how you want to structure that so what you're going to do is come over here to inventory and we're gonna start up uh, add a new advertiser so in this case we would just uh, call the business uh, whatever it is, so let's say it's 101 weight loss articles dot com contact and then email you just put that in there whatever it is and then you can choose to email yourself a campaign or not that's totally up to you go ahead and select next now you can choose which campaign you could choose if this is going to be like a right sidebar campaign now for this example you could choose just so you know like let's say I, I pay you you're charging me a thousand uh, or let's say let's say seventy five dollars per one thousand per uh, twenty five hundred impressions so you could say okay Paul paid me um, you know he paid me seventy five dollars here's twenty five hundred impressions or you could maybe take money for a certain amount of clicks so you could track by clicks and put that number in there uh, or you could track by conversions if you were going to track it that way you can choose the time so let's say instead of having to do with any inventory or you know banner rotations let's say it deals with um, with over a time period maybe it's 30 days I pay a um, two hundred and fifty dollars for a thirty day banner ad spot uh, whatever it is you could just come in here you can adjust the date on here so just you know March 10th here through April 10th for example right there so then that means after April 10th my ads, ads would stop serving unless I've renewed so then I could go right back in here and I could um, increase you know your the the time limit on it another 30 days so you can keep this um, keep this just like that you can go through those settings so it's very similar and then you're going to just follow very very similar uh, practices here so you could go here and you can add a new banner using the exact same principles from Amazon or wherever you would set up uh, linked zones and so it's going to be very very similar from start to finish in setting up that particular campaign so it's going to actually follow almost identical the process you just went through and then so you just go through that same exact process that we went through in the last video for setting up your very own campaigns um, so you notice here under advertisers and, cam and campaigns you're going to see uh, this new one that we just added which is going to be a paying client for this example so you just select add new campaign and you could just put in you know a sidebar if you wanted to uh, sidebar campaign and you could choose all the options there again you can also go in and you can add um, you know new banners to particular campaigns 
so again I'm just kind of repeating myself but I'm showing you this process so you see how simple it is um, it's very simple to do once you get a hang of it and once you understand it and then when you're done doing your inventory you would just go and grab your invocation code using the directions from the previous video and then also you'll refer to the links that I gave you if you're having issues uh, following these because there's more training materials uh, there as well so that is how you go about setting up a new advertiser it's almost identical to setting up uh, a particular um, you know your own particular site you would want to make sure that you add a new website as well when you're setting up a new advertiser so you just put in their URL instead of your URL and then you can even choose the category that they're located in and then you just select the country again so it's the same exact process and then you can put in your contact details and then just hit save changes and then you could add a new zone if you wanted to so let's say you're dealing with a banner um, let's say a, a right side skyscraper banner that you're dealing with you would just do that and you could put what the media cost is so for this example um, let's say you're charging five cents per impression so you're charging 0 0.05 per single Im uh, per impression or you could choose uh, cost per click five cents per click or cost per action whatever uh, kind of arrangement you have made then you just click on next and then you're set to go and start working on your banner and then once your banner is done you would just link it to that particular zone and then you would grab your little invocation code and then you would be all set to go you'd install that on your site and then you can come back here and you can view your site statistics uh, from back here and you can actually look and see what zones are producing for you and which ones are not so in the next video we're going to review um, OpenX a little bit more I'm going to show you how to use the statistics part uh, how to track your stats using an OpenX account that I already have and so I'll show you how to track those stats and then after that we're going to uh, be finished.